Antifa professor talks about attacking Trump and killing people still has their job. All right, hold on everyone, it's me from the future coming back to the past to interrupt the beginning of this video to let you know that after I recorded this video, I found out new good news about this story. So scroll down, see the link below to that. Uh, if you don't see the link below to that, then uh, give it a little while because I, I have yet to even uh, start that video, but it's good news. And it's going to start with the words more to the story because there is more to this story. Also, I want to tell you there's a number of news articles about this that you could read. Scroll down, see the link below to the section of our webpage called News Antifa. And the newest is at the top. Now back to your regularly scheduled video. This is from Law Enforcement Today. Headline, Professor, I am Antifa, talks about attacking President Trump killing Christians. August 23rd, 2019. Jeff Klinsman, a Kirkwood College adjunct English professor, has gone on record to confirm that he is Antifa. For those who are unfamiliar with Antifa, let's get you up to speed. Antifa is a group of people who claim to be anti-violence while deploying violence. They claim to support freedom of speech. Well, actually, that's they don't really claim to be anti-violence, but they are. They claim to be other things. Okay, they claim to support freedom of speech while violently shutting down the speech of those with whom they disagree. These individuals will agitate and instigate in hopes of throwing punches, swinging bats, hammers, and crowbars. The Washington Times calls Antifa a group that has been behind multiple violent protests nationwide, saying they are focused on physically fighting far-right and white supremacist groups. The FBI has monitored the group and President Trump is considering designating it as a domestic terrorist organization. Klinsman told a local TV station's investigative team, quote, I affirm that I am, quote, unquote, Antifa, unquote. He declined to take part in an interview citing safety concerns, but said in an email he makes no apology for what he has posted online. It is a bit ironic that Antifa does not care about the safety of its targets, but they do carry a deep concern for their own. Klinsman said what he has posted on social media draws complaints at Kirkwood Community College. A quick review of the Iowa Antifa Facebook page details many far left statements, conversations, and photos. One of them features a tweet from President Trump calling the group, quote, radical left whack jobs who go around hitting people over the heads with baseball bats, unquote. Remember that tweet? The professor wrote in response, quote, yeah, I know who I'd like to clock with a bat, unquote. The Secret Service says they are aware of the posts, but would not confirm if they are investigating it as a threat to the president. An attorney from Cedar Rapids, Sarah Riley, said that while what Klinsman posted may suggest an act of violence against the president, she does not expect him to be charged. Quote, it's so ambiguous that there is just no way he'd ever be considered a true threat, unquote, said Riley. According to KCRG, a search through Klinsman's Facebook page shows over the years that he has made statements expressing a desire to, quote, stop evangelical Christians, unquote, where he included a poem that said, quote, kill them all and bury them deep in the ground. Unquote. Klinsman went on to explain, quote, it's not pretty and I'm not proud, but seeing what evangelical Christians are doing to this country and its people fills me with rage and a desire to extract revenge. Unquote. Klinsman has the utmost contempt for those of the Christian faith. I think they mean he has the utmost contempt for those of the Christian faith. The investigative team also shared reports between the professor and Pastor Dave Doyle of Hope Christian Fellowship in Cedar Rapids. Doyle thinks Klinsman should be removed from the classroom immediately. Quote, this is not something you can just dance around the topic, unquote, said Doyle. Quote, you have to confront it. You have to face it. You have, you, I think they mean you have to deal with it, sometimes very bluntly. And I don't see that is what Kirkwood is doing there right now, unquote. Klinsman did say in a statement that his comments about killing Christians may have gone too far, but he would only apologize to those Christians who share his, quote, commitment, unquote, to various issues facing the country. In other words, if you are not a wrong thinker, it is mighty nice of him to be so willing to apologize to Christians for the hateful wishes of death he made towards Christians as long as they are amongst the Christians who happen to subscribe to his particular brand of hatred and intolerance. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that while a person's eternal salvation or lack thereof is a matter known only to the individual and God, I would have to question how anyone could legitimately claim to be a Christian while also espousing the beliefs, ideology, and hate-filled thought process that Klinsman and the rest of Antifa ilk possess. By the way, folks, <clears throat> yes, I am. I am. I have been sick. Tabby too. And uh, it's not stopping me. I'm working just as hard as I can. Uh, but you can donate. 
uh, that would be greatly appreciated, especially right now. We're really hurting, and uh, we can use some money. Poor baby over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sweetie. That's my discontented meow. I'll make you some. I'll make you some soup as soon as I'm uh, done. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, or whatever you want. Um, continuing. Oh, and by the way, yeah. Uh, how do you donate? Uh, scroll down, see the links below. We have a subscribe star through which you could donate. The only thing is that YouTube doesn't like subscribe star because they refuse to financially on person people like PayPal and Patreon and all that. So if you try to click on a uh, link to a subscribe star, apparently it just says that page doesn't exist, which is not true. So I'll give you part of the link. You just have to copy and paste that into your address bar right after the HTTPS double backslash colon thing, you know. Sorry about that inconvenience, but it's really the only thing we can do here. Continuing with the article, a Kirkwood spokesperson declined a request to interview someone with the college about this situation. As it turns out, students of the college have plenty to say about Klinsman. It is noteworthy that an English professor spends so much time inject, they mean injecting his beliefs and agendas into Shakespearean soliloquies and dangling participles. <laughs> Users of Rate My Professor said the following, quote, way too opinionated and grades fluctuate based on your ideology. Very little consistency. He's often having to struggle to regain his composure after being challenged. Yeah. Not, Not surprising, right? <laughs> Not at all. Usually when you challenge somebody's bullshit with actual facts and un deniable logic, they tend to have a little mental meltdown in front of you. Like, no! Yep. No, how dare you be smarter than me! I'm the professor! I did gender studies! God damn it! Yep. I win! Yep. Listen, currently we're seeing the results of college indoctrination. Yeah. College is not a place you go to learn. Do not send your kids to yeah. college. Send them to trade school. Let them save their money. You save your money. You tell the state and the college district to go fuck themselves with their commie goddamn professors that are not giving an education. Yep. They're turning out little commie soldiers. So think, keep this in mind. When you want to send your kid for a higher education, you're not. You're sending them to be some jackass's pawn to get, oh, in the memory of Heather the dumbass hair, hit by a fucking car! Yep. We're done. By the way, they remind... <clears throat> I forget what exactly it was, but I challenged some logical inconsistency because, by the way, it was supposed to be a psychology elective. It turned out to be pure indoctrination. I mean, this is where they taught basically everything weird that is Western educated, industrialized, rich democracies is evil. Everything weird is evil. Okay. And when I challenged her the very next day, I got a very bad grade on the assignment. And then after that, I learned, oh, okay, as long as I tell her what she wants to hear, she'll give me a good grade. And I got something like a 98 at the end of the class because basically my major project was basically more or less saying stupid white people and their science, brown people and their shamanic magic and hoodoo, they know better. And they're better psychologists than professionals. She gave me a very good grade for that one. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, let's continue with that person's quote. He will not admit he made an error and will punish you for showing him it. Most of the assignment topics were taken from other college website curriculum, unquote. Whoa. Quote, whatever you do, don't interrupt him when he's telling stories about his glory days of protesting and how much of a rebel he thinks he still is. He's mean, he's a bigot, and he's sexist as heck. He treats the female students who aren't hairy-pitted feminists like they are garbage. He's arrogant and condescending. Just really a bad instructor, unquote. Quote, he has no clue about teaching pedagogy, great scales and just common sense communication skills he says what he says and what actually happens are two totally different things he needs to think about what the class focus is not just his personal agenda unquote good luck with that yeah quote if you only want to write about and talk about race and gender take this class with him but that is all you will talk about also his grading skills messed up if you do an assignment exactly how it should be done, you will get a C. In order to get better than that, you will have to do double what the requirements ask, unquote. It is unfathomable that a state-funded community college would continue to employ someone who readily admits to being a member of a group that encourages and practices violence against those with whom they disagree. While they claim to be fighting against the quote-unquote bigoted right wing of America, they also have no problem beating a gay man of Asian descent in public and in broad daylight. Thank you. And also intimidating an old lady. And as I've shown in the series, who does Antifa actually attack? Let's see. 
immigrants, adolescents, elderly people. They've actually hurt elderly people, not just that old lady that they blocked. I mean, they knocked down an old person in uh, March 4th of 2017, at least, in uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Park. All right, what else? Um, people of various colors, transgender people, gay people, dogs, and supposedly a horse, though I have no proof of that last one. A Jewish man. Uh, what else? I forget. Just all the way down the list. Also see our series, Antifa Being Racist. Back to the article. The photojournalist and member of law enforcement were reportedly attacked and assaulted by masked Antifa members during a massive protest in downtown Portland on Saturday. Quote, I just got beat up by the crowd, no police at all, in the middle of the street, unquote, journalist Andy No said in an online post, quote, and they stole my GoPro and they punched me several times in the face and head, and I'm bleeding, unquote. Yeah, also law enforcement, I want to note to you assholes out there, not all cops, but you corrupt cops, okay? If you know that much, then you probably know that Andy No was betrayed by the local police. You better fucking criticize that in the rest of this article somewhere, but you probably will won't, will ya? The scuffle began with a small gathering of the Proud Boys group. Officers within the city noted that they had also been struck with flying items like eggs, milkshakes, rocks, and more. And still, they won't do anything about Antifa, those fucking pussies, those fucking traitors. Scum. Continuing, No showed signs of cuts and bruises on his face and neck, and evidently had a milkshake and other projectiles thrown, him, thrown at him while he was trying to get away. A video of the scene shows the moments that the mass protesters rush No, throwing items at him while also throwing punches and harsh kicks. The crowd pulls back after an original punch was delivered, but then a number of black-clad individuals rush in, attacking No as he is surrounded. Rose City Antifa had reportedly called out No in an online post promoting the, quote, community self-defense against Proud Boy attack, unquote, calling him a, quote, local far-right Islamophobic journalist, unquote. So there you go, folks. Nothing in this article calling out the corrupt police in Portland and their failure to protect and serve Andy No, even after he went to them and said, could you do something about this? They said no. And in fact, you should go back the other way, through the mob that just attacked you. And that's not the first time those fucking pigs did that shit. Anyway, I, I don't like calling a human being a pig because... I just don't like doing that. I don't like dehumanizing people, but at a certain point, fuck those pigs. And if this offends you, fuck you too. <laughs> right? Ah. Uh, anyway, it's good to see an article at least calling this shit out. I didn't know about this. I wouldn't have known about this if it were not for this article. So at least want to thank them for sharing that much. If indeed this is true. I don't know. Can't really trust these people because they, they're they being dishonest in this goddamn report by not calling out the Portland police. It's lying by omission. That is a relevant fact. They fucking know it and they didn't put that in there. Anyway, I don't want to end on an angry note, but I guess I am. Oh, before I forget, I want to thank you, Kalina, for your help. You know, it's uh, what you did is amazing. It, it helps us a lot. That's very great. Also, the same thing for Greg. I want to thank you, too. Uh, don't think that I've forgotten about you. I'm I'm still working on the stuff. So what I do is I work on a little of that, and then I put out something new, and then I work a little bit more and put out something new. Same thing with you, Joey Gibson. I haven't forgotten. I'm still working on that thing. Oh, what else? Um, oh, and by the way, also, Greg, thank you very much for your generous gift. Now, folks, if you could give us another $50 on Subscribestar, we could cash out the whole thing. Greg gave us about 100 uh, and we could cash out at 150 We could really use that money. Our uh, microwave just broke, and <laughs> we have nothing but a toaster right now. I swear to God. Oh, well, an electric, uh, what do you call that? Hot plate, right? Mm -hmm. Not not that great, uh, but we uh, we need to fix our windshield. We need new computers. We need more food, etc., <laughs> etc., et and so on. Uh, we can certainly use the help, folks. All right, so see the see the link to the subscribe store below. Again, I am sorry that I can't give you the entire link to the subscribe store, but you know what to do. Copy and paste what I give you right after the HTTPS double backslash colon because YouTube is trying to stop you from giving us money because subscribe store won't uh censor or whatever uh financially on person you like patreon does and like uh you know paypal etc by the way please subscribe to us on bitshoot and click that little bell icon because youtube doesn't tell you all about our videos even if you do subscribe and click that little bell icon they like to soft bammy and all that kind of yada yada anyway so fuck youtube see us over on bitshoot thank you very much for watching everyone liberty strength integrity honor honesty justice truth love and laughter